In this video, I'm gonna show you how I hire a WordPress developer on Upwork. My name is Doug Cunnington, I'm from Niche Site Project, and I've hired a lot of different types of freelancers on Upwork. I've hired researchers, I've hired writers, content editors, content managers, and probably a couple of other things that I can't remember. So it can be scary at first. I'm gonna show you how I go through the process. And by the way, I haven't hired a developer before. So I haven't hired a developer from Upwork. So it'll be a little bit new, which is good because I'm coming in with sort of an open mind. I'm gonna show you the whole thing. And let me explain the issue that I was having. So I actually created a video earlier today because I was working on this landing page here. This is a sales page of mine and it's pretty solid, right? I'm not making major changes. I was only trying to edit some text in a couple areas. It should have only taken me like 10 minutes, but I'm, I'm using this tool called Thrive Architect. And a lot of people um, recommend Thrive themes. I used to recommend Thrive for you know various uh, like themes and they have several other plugins. So I use this Thrive content builder now, it's called Thrive Architect. And it's very good for creating landing pages and for creating sales pages like this one here. However, the usability is terrible. It's, it's very bad. So all I was, I was trying to change some dates and some pricing information on this sales page. Really, it should have only taken like 10 minutes, but it took me like two hours. I never actually accomplished it. And at some point, Thrive stopped working. So this has been hanging here. Nothing happens. I've opened a support ticket and um, it looks like they're not actually very fast at support tickets either. So, so the ideal scenario here, after I thought about it, I took a step back. I thought, hey, I don't want to deal with Thrive anymore. I want, I want to like deactivate Thrive and get rid of it. Like that, that is the goal. So my thought is to hire a developer that can migrate this page here to something that I could just use in WordPress. I'm not sure if they need to, you know, give me like an HTML template, which I would actually rather edit that than try and use Thrive. Like I'd rather edit code than try and use this like monstrosity of Thrive Architect. So, okay, here's what we're gonna do. I haven't hired a developer before, so you're gonna experience it as I struggle through it, and I'm gonna do it real time. So I'm gonna post a new job, and you'll have the opportunity to, you know, pick which category. So they, they help you out. So this is IT, or is it design? Let's see. Oh, web. Duh. It's like the first one. Okay. So web. And we have different types of options here. And I'm going to say this is... I'm not sure the distinction between web development and web design, to be honest with you. But I think this should be close. I'm going to call it um, migrate a thrive arch architect. Is that what it's called? Thrive Architect. And it, it used to be called the uh, Thrive Content Builder. So I'll, I'll put that too, just in case some people don't know. To a WordPress landing page. Okay. And then I'll say, hi, I have a sales page that is built on Thrive Architect using 
one of the landing page templates. Okay, so one of the things when you're creating a job posting is the more information you could put in there, the better. So in some cases, like I hire a lot of writers. So in some cases, like I have a template, I could just reuse the template and change like a couple words on it and then it's ready to go. For this, this is like a custom one-time job. And, and not only that, I'm not even... I'm not even 100% sure what needs to be done exactly. I just know I need help. So this is where I'll, I'll probably explain that a little bit and I'll probably let them know that I'm not 100% sure what I need and I need that person to like consult me and tell me what they suggest. Now, I do have like some constraints. Um, for example, someone contacted me earlier today that was on my YouTube live stream. And they said, hey, Doug, if you need help, I'm a designer, I could help you out. So, you know, he came back and and told me that, uh, you know, hey, we could do it. You know, you probably need to use a CMS. And I'm, you know, I was like, I'm already using WordPress. Like he should have already known that. Um, I'm not, like I even mentioned it. So I'm not sure why he was suggesting that. But the thing is, he also said, hey, I wanna, uh, it's a long page. I wanna use, um, I wanna, add some uh, navigation and table of contents or something like that. Now, see, the thing is there, I don't want that. Like, uh, I'm, I don't want to take sales advice from a designer, right? Like I, I'm, I'm good at the marketing part of it. I'm good at the sales portion. So I need to make sure, like, I, I know what I'm good at and I know what I need them to do. So a lot of times you get advice from people who don't have the chops to give you that advice. So you just got to remember that. And, you know, earlier in my career, I probably would have taken the advice and said, oh, you know what? This guy's done a lot of landing pages. But you know what? He probably hasn't sold a lot of stuff. So that's one thing you got to remember. Okay. So more details you could put in, the better. So I have, I have a sales page that's built on Thrive Architect using one of the landing page templates. I want the... the sales page migrated off of Thrive. I hate using the Thrive interface. And then I'll just say like, and <laughs> I'll leave it at that. I actually recorded some a little bit of the intro of this video earlier, and then I found that I was just complaining about it. So I was like, all right, I got to dial this ba back and uh, do the job posting here. So, okay, I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to type some, and then we'll come back. I'm back. I typed a little bit. I thought about it, and here's the gist of it. I, I'm saying I want the sales page migrated off of Thrive and I say, hey, I hate using Thrive and I'll leave it at that. I do let them know I'm open to, to solutions that they suggest. I'm not 100% sure of what I need, so I'm looking for your suggestions. And I'm currently using the Zippy Courses theme and I want to continue using it. And then I try and list out some specs here. So I want to keep using the theme that I'm already using. I want to be able to make edits on my own. I want to be able to make edits in the WP, the WordPress interface, if possible. I don't mind having to edit code and I don't want to add any other content builder, right? Like that's kind of important. I think all the other, I think all the content builders like suck in their own way and I don't want to have to learn something new and I just want to, I, w I would rather have a simpler page than have something that is a pain to use. So at this point today, only today, I probably spent four hours messing around with Thrive stuff. And I just, I don't think it's necessary. I think like for certain things, it's very practical, but you know, at this point, I just, I hate using it. And every time I've had to make an update with Thrive, it's been a real headache. I give them the page that it is so they can look at the source code. I tell them, um, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Like I'm not telling them they have to recreate the same exact elements and everything. I just want it to look generally the same. Okay. So I did my best to explain what's going on. Um, in this case, I'm not 
like uploading any attachments because I have a live site. I have everything ready. They just have to like migrate it over. This is a one-time project. This is creating a landing page. So because I selected the web development section, this is what they tell me here. I only want to hire one freelancer. I do have specs um, and I guess I have designs. I, I can't s select both of them. I'm not sure which one goes. Um, <laughs> I mean, they could read it and then they'll see. Um, am I experienced? So I said, no, I'm not. It's not shown directly, but they use it to help match up the right freelancer. The thing is I've hired a lot of people. I've hired a lot of developers, just not like web developers on Upwork. But in my old corporate job, I hired a lot of people. So um, as far as the programming languages, I don't know. I don't care. Do I only want freelancers in the U.S.? It doesn't matter to me where they're located. I would have them start... Uh, as soon as tomorrow, <laughs> which software frameworks do I prefer to use? I'm going to guess is WordPress on here. Okay. There's, there's no framework. It doesn't matter. Um, they do. Okay. Skills needed. Uh, WordPress for sure. Um, what, like, I, I don't know. Um, what else I I can make some assumptions that they may need to know PHP and, and CSS and this and that, but I, I really don't know. So I'm just going to leave it at WordPress and hopefully we'll get a good WordPress developer. As far as other APIs, it doesn't need to integrate. I'm, I'm just trying to get something migrated over. How would I like to pay? I want to pay by the hour. Um, and I am... I'm going to go intermediate because I want um, I want someone to help me. I don't want to have to coach someone through this or anything like that. I want a, a pro. So we're going to try at the 20 to $40 per hour range here. And, and I would guess, you know, this is a long page and there's a lot of elements in here. So depending on how they're able to migrate it over, it may be pretty quick or not. So I, I mean, I know that someone could just like copy, copy and paste it over to something. And then it, it is a lot of stuff to format, but it may be easier than I think. I'm not sure. Or they could, for example, go over to the source code here and have a much easier, faster way to, to do things. I, I don't know. That's the thing. I, I have no idea. So this is going to be a less than a week project. What is the time commitment? It's going to be less than 30 hours a week for sure. I normally just select Upwork users can find the job. So I don't want it to show up in search engines. I just want it to be internal. Preferred qualifications. We'll take a look here. I usually don't mess with these, but in this case, I may want to. So 90% um, job success rate, freelancer type. I don't care if it's independent or an agency. Rising talent's fine. Any, hour, any number of hours build. Um, I'm going to say at least 100 hours. English level, I'm going to say, as long as they can communicate, I'm, I'm good with that. And group, um, hmm, I haven't seen this before, but uh, I'm, I'm going to leave it as no preference. And I'll just say, actually, I don't have any specific screening. Uh, maybe I'll just say, have you migrated a, a page from Thrive before? A page from Thrive Architect or any other page builder. And then I'll say, if so, tell me about it. And I'm not looking for anything long or any sort of like 
detailed explanation, just a brief like, hey, I did this and it turned out well. Um, and I'll leave it at that. So, okay. And I think that's it. What I'll do is I'll save the draft. Oh, okay. Thank goodness it's saved. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> All right. And then I'll just take another quick look. So migrate a Thrive Architect page, sales page. to a WordPress landing page. So we will have read through this already, so I'll leave that alone and then I'll just double check. So one time, create a landing page. I wanna hire one freelancer. I have specs. I'm new at hiring this type of work. That's fine. I am fine with any freelancers and the start date is tomorrow. Which software frameworks do I prefer to use? That doesn't matter. I'm just saying WordPress is a skill. I'm going to pay by the hour. It will be uh, Let's see. I wonder if a fixed bid could be better here. And I'll, I'll put a budget of 100 and I'll see where the bids come in. So I'm not, I'm not really sure how long it'll take. So other gigs that I know about where I've hired other people and I have, I'm aware of how long it should take. This one, I have no clue. And, you know, as far as the budget, I mean, I'm flexible. I'm trying to get rid of a headache of mine and this seems like a reasonable amount. I think a skilled person could probably make this happen in, you know, a couple hours if they know what to do. Okay, so Upwork users. And by the way, it's important for you to go back and check things after you've gone through. You should double check it. I found like several typos, which aren't critical, but I just want to make sure enough info is here. And then I'll require a cover letter in this case. Sometimes I don't and I will post the job. And that's it. At this point, that's all you have to do. And they tell you um, a bunch of people that are qualified and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm not going to look for a little while. And probably tomorrow morning, I'll check the proposals here and then go from there. So I'll probably create a video as I'm going through the pr proposals. And as you can see, a lot of times there will be people that are, you know, you could invite them. I can click this button and invite them to the job, but I'm just going to let people apply for it. I'm not going to go seek them out because hopefully I'll have, you know, four or five folks to take a look at it. And this is definitely a situation where I may hire, I might hire two or three people to do it. And just whoever provides me with the best solution, I'll use that one. Because some people are probably going to try and tell me I need to use some other content builder. Or they're going to say, I want to edit Thrive for you and try and give me a solution that I don't want. But I am so damn particular that I know exactly what I want. And if they can't give it to me, then I'll, I'll have to figure out some other solution, right? So this isn't a huge rush. Like if I don't get this solved before my, you know, course launch, it's okay. Um, it, I'll, I'll live and I can do it next time. But in this case, I do need to uh, at least get what I'm asking for. I don't want someone to give me a solution that I don't want. So, okay, cool. I'll leave it at that. And this is how you hire someone on Upwork.